Hi folks and welcome back to Math with Captain Rod. The purpose of this video is to answer a couple questions here. One, what is a linearization of a function? And two, how do we find it? So what we're looking at here, you know, imagine some arbitrary function here. If I pick a point here anywhere on this curve, doesn't matter where, we might pick this point, I'm going to call this point A. This value would be f of A. And the linearization of a function at a point is, is really just like its name implies here. You'll notice that um, the tangent line at that point, at the point A, might look something like this. This tangent line has an equation that can be written in this form, y equals mx plus b. And the important thing to realize here now, if I kind of just look at this region right here, if I take this picture and kind of blow it up, we have the function, which looks maybe something like this, and here's point a, a f of a, and we have the tangent line. goes through here looks something like this and basically the idea is that as long as we don't vary much to the right or left you know we imagine moving a distance uh, I'll say delta to the right or a distance delta to the left as long as these differences are small then the function is approximately straight, uh, straight and basically linear so the equation of this tangent line this y equals mx plus b is a linear approximation to this function as long as we don't vary left or right very far. So again, for small deltas, the tangent line can be used to approximate the function. And what we're doing is we're then saying this function is approximately linear as long as we don't vary far from A. So that's the answer to what uh, linearization is. As far as how it's found, we just find the equation of the tangent line at a given point. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just stop this and make separate videos for examples. I hope this uh, answers these questions. Have a great day.